As you know, kids' birthdays are going up, going up so fast, and kids grow up very big, and kids get rewards for their birthday. And sometimes you could get cake or something you like. You get what you get, you don't get upset. You have to be grateful for what you get from your parents. They try hard to get something you like, but if you say no, you get nothing. So be grateful and take what you have because your parents have to go to work and work hard. Trash, and that's a problem because the lakes or plastic or oceans can get polluted with each either plastic or paper. Some students, when they're in the bathroom, they leave toilet paper on the floor or some towels on the floor. We can change that by putting the stuff in the right order. Physical fitness test is a whole week cycle model for fifth graders. So the fifth graders try their best to pass the test and sometimes they can give up and rest. The physical fitness test can be soccer, kickball, run in one mile, trunk lift, and shoulder stretch. So students of fifth grade, good luck to me and, and the fifth graders. Well, every time I usually get 100% on it. Well, today I learned new things about iReady. I learned that like I could multiply new things. I could multiply big numbers with my fingers. Like I need to count 11 times 3. I have no more fingers. So I so if I wanted more fingers, I could just do 10, 11, 12 and other numbers if I want to go higher. I don't know if other people could like it, but I know I love I read it because it makes me smarter. I love learning math because it's my favorite thing to do. I learned how to make a pie model. A pie model is like when you draw a circle and you put a number like 4, 4 and you put a line and then you put like a number, whatever number. So I'm doing four, one. So I draw a big circle and then I cut it out and then I shade in one and that's a pie model. And then the other one is called a bar model. And the bar model is when you draw like a, like a little thing is like that and then like that. And then when I do that, it, it makes me more smarter because I, I get to like cut them in pieces like I'm cutting a, a fruit. And that's how I get my answer. I just go one, two, three, four. And then after that, I shade in one. And that's, and that's my model. My other one is a number line. So there's a line. And then I, and I put a zero on the bottom and put a line here. And then the other one, I put a line and then one. And then my other one, I make a line. One, two, three, four. And then I go one, two, three, four. And that's how I get my answer. And and I have and that's called a number line. And my other one is a picture. So the picture is when you draw a smiley face. You you draw four smiley face. One, two, three, four. And when I draw my four smiley face, I could just shade in one. That's how I get my answer. Thank you. As you all know, you could pack your lunch by yourself. And when your parents pick you up from after school, they have food ready for you so you don't have to starve. Sometimes when they pick you up, kids ask their parents if they could go to McDonald's or Jack in the Box. And that's not good because you can get bad teeth and it's bad for your health. Parent conferences is when students and their parents go inside the classroom so the teacher can tell the parents how they are doing. The parent conference can be in a Zoom meeting. The parents can make a phone call or they can go to the classroom. So the teacher gives them report cards in fall, spring and almost the last day of school. They have popcorn party in their classroom because, because if you get 60 tickets or more, you could get a popcorn party for behaving good. No bullying, um, being in a straight line and a coach would just give you a ticket if you want a popcorn party behave listen to the coaches don't speak back listen to the coaches what they're saying and don't speak up do what they said be in a straight line no bullying with other kids and that's how you get a popcorn party but you need at least six, 60 tickets or lesser or more <laughs>